This here be the tale of Captain Blue Bowser and the Relentless Reapers. The batter rich sat becalmed on still waters betwixt the inlet of the Crescent Isle, the quiet breeze carrying the familiar scent of the salty sea. Blue Bowser and his crew, Mr. Spawn and Mr. Hippie, rose their tankards high, reveling at their newly acquired hoard of treasures after having braved the perils of the moon vault. The emissary flag snapped as a treacherous wind blew across the sails, bringing with it a chill that ached their bones. A darkness loomed over the nearby Golden Sands outpost, and from it came two ships flying the all too familiar colours that bring a dread to even the bravest of pirates' hearts. Reapers. Rise the anchor and turn her about, Blubosa cried to his crew. Mr. Spawn and Mr. Hippy made haste, readying the battered wretch for a swift escape. They headed south with little wind in their favour. A nearby sea stack granted momentary cover, obscuring them from the sight of the approaching reapers. In a moment of determined desperation, Blubosa grabbed the collar of Mr. Hippie. Load the skiff with the treasure and drop. Mr. Hippie gave the captain a knowing smile and immediately set to work alongside Mr. Spawn. As their bow's brick crossed the threshold of their graciously granted cover, Mr. Hippie dropped the skiff into the awaiting waters and rode to the sea stack's shadows. Moments seemed hours as Blue Bowser and Mr. Spawn patched holes and bailed water in wake of the onslaught of cannon fire, buying time as Mr. Hippie sold their hoard to the merchants at Golden Sands. Deftly maneuvering the chaos, Captain Blue Bowser and Mr. Spawn meticulously trimmed the sails, putting distance between the battered wretch and her pursuers. Mr. Hippie, having sold their entire hull, employed the services of a local mermaid to swim back to the ship, paying not but a couple buttons and a ball of pocket lint. Merfolk be a simple lot. The flag of this emissary we fly now holds quite a reputation, Mr. Spawn said with a grin. I say we sell it at the next outpost and give these relentless reapers nothing for the time. A proud smile crept across the captain's face. I can't think of any better way to dampen their spirits, Mr. Spawn. Give me a heading. The battered wretch continued her journey east to plunder outpost, with the reaper's dogged determination nipping at their heels all the while. The crew leapt from their anchored ship to the dock with emissary flag in hand, and sold it for a small fortune to the gold hoarded representative. The crew climbed the rocky outcropping on the far side of the island as they watched the desperate antics of the reaper crews. Some fired cannonballs into the battered wretch's hall as others boarded, feverishly searching for anything of value, of which they found none. The petulant reapers shouted a cacophony of choice words, and several others mistaking the battered wretch's crew's cunning for cowardice. It's a little thing. Blue Bowser said with a smile. He placed his hands on the shoulders of his crewmates. Not to worry, lads. The battered wretch will sail again, but for now, let's enjoy our newly found fortune. <laughs>